former your TV presenter and musician. Ute, as old as I am, I'm still a virgin. Why? That's just the question asked by Mpumili Dwam. And she responded, because God says so. I was like, huh? Wow. Is it possible to find these young ladies, um, the ones who are born from 2000 coming up, what? Is it possible to find them virgins? It's like they're in a competition to break their virginity at an early age. I mean, you walk around the park, you see an 11 year old kid with a man, and that it's not even a man, a boy. And you're looking at that boy like, you are also 12, 13 years old. But you're looking at the way they're holding at each other. You're like, this is deep, intimate um, uh, cuddling. These kids are already sexually active. So you see now an 11-year-old kid who is now sexually active. But there's an adult who knows nothing about intercourse. Well, let me unpack. Provided that you're interested. If you are, then please stick around. As you stick around, there's only one favor that I'm requesting from you guys. And that favor is that you subscribe, you like the video, and you comment in the comment section below. Why do you need to do all of those things? You need to do it because, I mean, doing it, it does help out a lot when it comes to the YouTube algorithm to promote and spread this video to as many people as possible. So definitely, good people, the power here is in your hands. Um, yeah, good people. I think we... We have a lot to learn. Honestly, I think we have a lot to learn. Nevertheless, this is what she said. Now, when asked, why are you a virgin? She said this. One, because God says so. Two, me and I and I. Between me and him, we want to stick it through. Three, the lucky guy who gets to get me will reap the benefit of something he never worked for, but will be will be a blessing from the Lord. Rory Sanchez. However, that is not my main goal. I am more interested in being given, uh, given somebody by God that will love me and will see everything that God has out in me. And I am sure it, it is great to have um, a good sex life, but it's not the only thing. Mm. Yeah, Rodesang says she made this huge decision for herself at the age of 12. She said, it was based on my mother's Bible teachings. There was a show called Soul Food. We were watching it late at night and my mother saw us watching and there was a Bible study the next day. <laughs> it, was, it was almost like a sex talk um, but wrapped up in, a, in our faith. But I love the fact that she concluded, look, she included our grandmother in the conversation. At 14, there was an, under, there was an understanding because it was a scriptural and I was, de, look, I was de, de designed for my peers and uh, opposed by becoming, uh, by becoming fro, look, from a, a pulpit. Hmm. Wow. 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 If ever there is a story that I don't have much to say about is this one. Um, not because I wouldn't like to say much. Not because I don't have much to say. But because it's very rare to find this type of stories. Am I saying it's wrong? Not at all. Am I saying it's right? Yes. With big yes. Am I saying this is what I think everybody should be doing? Yes. Am I saying maybe we only women know, even us men, um, there is goodness in keeping yourself clean? And um, yes, this that I do agree. But am I saying that this generation do care about such things? No, they don't. They don't care, and they don't give a damn. Not even a swimming pool for that matter. To them, they are living life on the first lane, and it's only first lane. To Rorisang, I've got nothing much to say. Keep it up. That's all I can say. Hey, but here, guys, please tell Rorisang, I'm not yet married. 
so we can make a play. Plus, I'm a Christian, so we can make a play. <laughs> yeah, but please don't post this on social media. Just keep it cool, you know. You know, boss. Yeah, but yeah. But nevertheless, till we meet again, please take care.